talking about. So obviously you clearly have experience in the medical field. That's one of the things that you studied, of course. Mm. But we also know that you are an athlete. Yes. Uh, you are a DJ. Yes. You are a dancer. Correct. And you also get flown out by rappers. No. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. No. Just a joke. Just a joke. Just a joke. <laughs> but tell me, let's let, let's talk about the five the, the five different things that you do. I mean, four, excluding the rapper. What? You like um, model. I oh, you're model. oh you model as well. Yeah, not on some like oh, I'm an Instagram model. This is uh, different. Oh, like serious model. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my fault though. I can't remember everything. No, my fault. You're doing ten thousand different things. Guys, I don't know. The Lord just placed me with the brain to utilize everything that I'm good at. To mm. Income. I get you. I get you. But I want to find out about the athlete. Mm. You obviously into athletics. Is that mm. because you are running away from the gang gang violence? Or I believe that that is a that's partly the reason why yeah. I'm fast. Uh-huh. <laughs> because the gun, the PTSD just makes me run <laughs> like I'm out. Uh-huh. <laughs> but um, yeah, I didn't know I was an athlete until I went to Belgravia. Mm-hmm. And so, what what were you? What exactly were you were you were you on though? Were you like just no. doing athletics at school? Or your athletics seriously? I like, just talk me through your athletics journey. Athletics, cool grade 10 and 11. Um, you, you're you going to try out. Co- yes, I was the fastest at the time. But um, nobody ever taught me about the fact that if you go to champs, champs, you make province team. There's more beyond that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. So grade 10, yeah, I made champs, champs. But in my mind and in my mom's mind, it was taxi fee two fake scroll and then like some registration fee which was so unnecessary yeah like i so said i didn't do it in grade 10 didn't do it in grade 11 grade 12 i was like nah you want to do it um my friends my friends in all honesty were like um so we are all grade 12 it's a lick of fun sports day you made the team it's a saturday come we go to the stadium and we drink man uh-huh. right so i'm like okay sharp let's do it so we, I don't know where I got the money from, but I got the money and then I went to run. Not all of us are like, oh, you go some VP stuff, cool. In my mind, I'm like, cool, this is people I haven't seen yeah. that I'm running against mm-hmm. now. And um, it was faster than them. And then I didn't know that after Champs of Champs, there's like, you go to run at Powerful and the next thing you know, you're part of like the province team. Yeah, yeah. Goes to run at Essays. Mm-hmm. So my sister, was then supportive of me and in that situation and we all and my mom and everyone we all went to Balbo that night um champs of champs no so this is now where you make the province team yeah same thing happened you won again yes wow and then i'm we, faster than you though but oh yeah, continue. that's fine you're supposed to be if oh. you want it be concerned oh. um <laughs> as a man you're supposed to be faster than crazy me. crazy so we went to um yes and then cool i made team to represent SA but now like this is me just running on some like fumes I, d- I don't have any training, you don't train. the, pr- the training that probably my body like remembered was my gymnastics that I did growing up mm-hmm. so that's probably why I was a lot stronger than everybody else yeah and after that I kept dancing so it wasn't like I'm sitting on the couch all the time and I'm running mm-hmm. um and then my LO teacher happened to be an actual track and field coach yeah. So he then took responsibility to like go around to everyone in the school in terms of teaching and generate the funds for my tour mm-hmm. to go to Butchestrom at the time. Did that. Um, Butchestrom was so flames, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But then my relay team won. But they smoked you though. Yeah. What but num- then my relay team won. But, but they smoked you though. God. What number did you come? I, th- maybe it was even eighth. I have no idea. <laughs> but they smoked me all. That was it. Was, was it like, was it like, is Butchestrom like a white area? Yeah, so that's basically where like how they north like all of the places go. Because uh, it's essays mm, at the end mm, of the mm, day. Mm. So they smoked me by team, our relay team smoked everyone. And mm. then everybody in our relay team was approached by different universities. And then uh, UWC was like, yo, sports bursary. Mm-hmm. I was like, I I knew I wanted to study since grade ten, but the reality of it was really far for me. Because of the money situation? Yeah. Yeah. Um and so that's that's how my life was changed but then but then did you stop athletics after that no so my old seven years of studying i, I ran mm-hmm. i but only st- like I, I had to stop running last year why you get to a point um especially if you're a generational curse breaker yeah where um 
money prioritizes everything else in life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you need to do what, you what's going to get your money right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so my career, like my career path change based on what's relevant in the moment. So like mm-hmm. now I'm not dancing because I'm here to be a model. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I go back to Joburg and dancing generates more income than like my medical job does. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's genuinely dependent. I think I'm blessed to have so many options. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was it was tough because track and field takes up your entire day, and then you find yourself being more financially stressed than um, like mentally and emotionally fit. Mm. There's no point in training so hard if you're not actually getting paid for not, it. Not uh, not getting paid for it, but like if you are countering your body because of your external environment. Mm. Like when you're a sprinter, everything matters. The way you eat matters. What you eat matters. How much your you sleep? Stress, how much you sleep? your significant other matters because it's an individual sport and it's yeah. more a psychological game than it is a physical game in mm-hmm. all honesty. Wow. So I had to prioritize everything and get everything straight. But now that I'm in Cape Town, life feels a bit more calm. So I definitely am gonna start training from like next week again. Mm-hmm. So so do you still do you still work um uh, your medical job? Yeah. I'm going there after this. Wow. Brazy. So you finished uni? Yes. And you decide to become a DJ? My dad's one. Your dad's DJ? Yes. Was your dad around when you're growing up? Yeah. Because you speak so much about your mom, but I didn't I hear anything know. about your dad. Sorry, dad. Mom's like my best Well, my dad was my best friend growing up. So your dad was also there in a noble park with you? Still there. Still there. Mm-hmm. Active with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm still even there. Yeah. Um, But I've obviously like moved out and whatever. Weird thing. The suburbs is weird for me. Mm-hmm. I'm so used to noise. Yeah. I'm so used to neighbors knocking. And that's something that I'm going to ask you about. But first, I want to know, like, the DJ, the oh, DJ yeah. side. So Where the DJing did you... thing happened because it's so crazy the difference between, like, Johannesburg and Cape Town. In mm-hmm. Johannesburg, passions can generate income. Yeah. In Cape Town, passions are hobbies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Yeah, because, yeah, I feel like the culture is not. Where it is in Joburg, Cape Town's in Cape Town, yeah. Af- Cape Town's not a part of South Africa. Yeah, it's a different country. Because when I got to Joburg, I, I learned so much about this country that I had no idea. Even now, coming back here, I feel like I'm five years be- like behind. Especially mm. even in music and everything, mm-hmm. like things are just behind. Wow. Um, just Kinda culturally. No, I'm sorry. Just, just culturally, like things are just. I don't know if we, if we don't if yeah. we don't choose to invest in like our own things that are created in our own country, but like our country is being put on the map because we've decided to look at ourselves and flourish in like our own ways. Mm, like so, I want piano, yes. for instance, and yeah. the likes of, yeah, there's just so much people that have done things because of their originality yes. and not because of trying to be like someone no, else. Exactly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah. I think Cape Town's very like European and either American based, depending on what you are mentally to yourself. And um, when I went to Joburg, I realized that like being South African is such a flex. Mm. It's 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 a, it's a big thing, yeah. Yeah, but um, DJing happened because yeah, Joburg, you can make more money than a medical profession in like a weekend. So so you actually you actually good. Because people, people claim, we have this conversation every time on this couch, bro. People are DJs, but they're not great. I'm just asking them. There's a difference between plug and play and actual beat matching. So what so do you... Th- I can physically be in a club and I'll be able to tell whether someone is just beat matching or actually understands what they're doing. Oh. And what, what, what level do you regard yourself as? I'm genuinely mid-ground. I never think that I am of extreme standard to the point where I don't need to learn anything anymore. Yeah. Like, that's my attitude with everything that I do. Mm-hmm. Um, I could be in a conversation with people talking about things that I maybe do know more about, but there's going to be something that I don't know. Mm. Always leaving space for growth. Yeah, so uh, like even in a club, yes, I'm there, but you'll, stand, uh, you'll see me standing behind the DJ and just looking. To see, like, okay, cool. If, if he's actually active. Active. No, me. Oh, I like, see. Trying to learn. Or, oh, I see. I see. Or, I see. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like, everybody's on their own path. Everybody understands themselves differently. How we perceive each other is different. Mm-hmm. So you might think you're great, and I might think you lack some skills, but it's not my place to tell you. Like, because you might see the same in me. Yeah. But somebody who is teaching you has the right to do that. Mm, of course, of course, of course. 